All right. Now what you have here is the Ten Commandments written in Paleo Hebrew. All right. And us here at Great Millstone, we through faith believe that this is the ancient Hebrew. All right. We call it the Lashawan Kodash, which uh, uh, Lashawan means uh, means a uh, tongue or language, and Kodash means holy. So the holy tongue, the holy language, is the Hebrew. All right. You know, and we give double honor to our apostles and elders because, you know, they t they taught us the right way, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, in, uh, in this lesson, we give credit to Elder Apostle Ariam Lab for his channel, GMS uh, Las Lashawan Kudash. All right, you also got the brother Monagun in D.C. with his channel, GMS Army of 144. All right. And, you know, shout out and salutations to all you brothers that's diligent in Hebrew, man. You know, because that's our language. All right. And I also want to uh, give credit to the brother Manadazak Yehawada. All right. GMS Manadazak Yehawada from the uh, LA camp because he had a video with this Edomite coming here. And, and the Edomite said in that clip that the Lord's name is, is Yehawah. All right. Again, a dot. He starts writing again. He keeps on going. Somewhere along the line here. He realizes, oh shoot, I forgot a commandment. I forgot a commandment. I just went from, uh, from delivery from a how from 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 Egypt and the house of bondages, and uh, or slaves or whatever servants, the house of servants, and I started right into not making yourself a, a, a idol. You know. I started right into that, and then he realizes somewhere along the line, what, at what point? Like he it looks like he continued to write, uh, not to take up, not to uphold. Et down here, that's missing. The olive is gone. The ta is there. Et Shem, Yahweh, the name of the Lord. Don't take up the name of the Lord. Yeshua. Yeshua for not. not for, 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 uh, or, or to nothing. Don't take it up to nothing. To, to vanity. To or for. You know, Esau said that, man. So Esau knows the truth, all right? He knows the truth, man, you know, but as you can see here on the top line, you know, some Edomites got a, uh, got an engraving to a, a sandblaster or some sort of tool to basically scratch off the top line. All right. But we can still pretty much see what it says. All right. And, uh, and we can still translate it. All right. All right. Uh, the first word, well, we're just going to go you know, g read the words as we go along, all right? A Anakia, I am, Yahweh, the Lord's name, the Most High's name, all right? Uh, Alayaka, your, your God, all right? So I am Yahweh, your God, Ashar, that, uh, Ma Watazaathyaka, uh, which uh, brought you uh, my Arataza out the land. Let's see, uh, uh, Matazarium, and it's hard to kind of read it right here, okay, because it's kind of kind of uh, broken up, all right, but uh, Matazarium, so out of the land of Egypt, all right, uh, Mabayath, out of the house, Abadium, of slaves or of bondage, all right, so I am Yahweh, your God or your power, that or which brought you uh, out of the land of, uh, of, of uh, Egypt, uh, out of the house of slaves out of the house of bondage all right all right in this line here all right it says uh uh la'ah 
which means not uh, Yahiah, not there be Alahayim, gods, Akaryim, others, Al before uh, Punya, before me. All right. So thou shalt have no other gods before me. All right. All right, and um, we're at this line here. And as you can see, you know, the, the way uh, they wrote it, they wrote it the best that they could because, you know, this line here, basically the rest of it comes down here, you know? All right, but uh, we're continuing right here. All right, so, uh, la, la a not uh, the, the, the Aisha, the Aisha not make Laka to you, um, Pasal, graven image. All right, so that should not uh, make make uh, to you graven images. Okay. Uh, La'a, not Dasha, take. It, it says uh, Ath right here, but it's broken off. Was, was that say uh, uh, a, a definite accusative? You know, basically it puts emphasis on the uh, subject at hand and let you know that these things actually happen, all right? But it doesn't have a, uh, a necessary uh, meaning, meaning to it, all right? But anyway, all right, it says, uh, La'a, not, Dasha, take, At, Shum, name, so, uh, thou shalt not take the name Yahweh, the name of the Most High, Yahweh, thou shalt not take the name of Yahweh, La Shawa in vain, you know, La Shawa in vain, and um, you know, uh, like they worded it a little differently, you know what I'm saying, from uh, from you know how, how we have the Ten Commandments because we're just all saying the same thing, you know, because some Hebrews say uh, Ba Shawa, you know, which means in vain, but it's, it's saying the same thing, you know, but this is actually how you uh, read it, it's going to say the same thing in the Hebrew. You know, we're gonna get that in a little bit. Showing you saying the same thing. All right. Now uh, we're right here, and they have extra characters in here also. All right. It says uh, Zakawar, uh, Zakawar, which means remember. Ath, Yawam, day, remember the day. Hashabath, the Sabbath. All right, and it says uh, La Kodashwa. All right, so remember the Sabbath day and uh, keep it holy. All right, or holy it. All right, and um, right here, uh, Kabad, Kabad, uh, honor, Ath, Abayaka, so honor your, your father, Abayaka, your father. Honor your father, Wa'ath, and Amayaka, your mother. So honor your father and your mother, Lama'il, Lama'il, so that, all right, and you know, uh, really it's supposed to say Lama'ain, all right, so that Ya'ar, Ya'ar Ra Kawan, that will be long, or will be long. Yamayaka, your days. Really, it should say uh, Yawam Yaka. It should say Yawam Yaka, which means your days. All right, so that your days uh, will, will be long. I'll upon Ha Adama, uh, the land or the earth, so that your, your, your days will be long upon the land or upon the earth. Ashar, that or which Yahweh, Mosai. Aliyaka, your God, or your power, your laka, gives to you. All right, so that your days will be long upon the land that Yahweh, your power, gives you, or has given you. All right, and it says uh, Yathun, you know, it really should be Nathun, you know, Nathun, which means to give. It means give. All right. 
All right, and now we're right here. All right, it says uh, la'a not daratazak. So not not murder. La'a not daratazak murder. La'a not tana'ap adultery. So that should not murder. That should not commit adultery. La'a not tagana'ap steal. So that should not steal. La'a not the the I na not thou or uh, not uh, thou testify the I na thou testify by Raika by Raika against uh, your neighbor I uh, uh, witness uh, Shakwar false or falsely so that should not bear false witness against your neighbor and they have the, the Ka character here really it should be the Kwa and you know you have to remember they're not going to have it exact because the Northern Kingdom they've been here in the Americas for a long time man and uh basically <laughs> hey, a guy that helped us get up here you know he was somewhat of a tour guide you know he spoke about this being made during the time of King Solomon really it was after the time of King Solomon when the nation of Israel split all right now granted during the time of King Solomon, he did have a navy of ships, all right? He, he, had, he had a navy of Tarshish together with the navy of Hiram, which Elder Apostle Tahar made mention that, that Hiram, they call him Hiram uh, Abif, I believe, you know, he could have possibly been an Israelite, you know? But basically, he came over here with the Canaanites, you know, to, to gather resources for King Solomon. It took him a year and a half to get here, and it took him a year and a half to get back. and it's more, it's more than likely, more than possible, that he did bring some of our people with him, you know? That's very possible. But, you know, it's to my, uh, to my belief or faith, this was made when the Northern Kingdom actually, like, landed here for real, you know, which was after the Assyrian captivity, which only makes sense because they went for a land, they went to go to a land where never, where never mankind dwelt, all right? But we're gonna get to that in a minute, all right? So. We're right here now. All right, all right. La'a not thou covet, thou covet. So not, not thou shall not uh, covet. Thou shall not covet. Ashath, Ashath, uh, wife. Uh, Raika of your neighbor. Wakal and all. Ashar that. La Raika, La Raika uh, is your neighbor. So thou should not uh, cover thy neighbor's wife and all that is thy neighbor's. All right, so, you know, as you can see, man, this is the ancient Hebrew, the Paleo Hebrew. It's not mixed with any Greek like they tell you. And they change some of the characters. They replace certain characters. Some characters are not there, but they got it as exact as they could. Okay, and to read a little bit of this, I'm not going to read it all, but basically, this is uh, the Holy Bible, the Hebrew Torah, Hathawara, translated by uh, uh, Neil L. Harvey, all right, his, his Hebrew name is Karadazai Allah, you know, I think he was a part of the old school, if I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong, but basically, nonetheless, he, he translated the Bible into Paleo Hebrew, well, he, tra he translated the first five books, all right, now, in Exodus chapter 20, getting to the point, all right, uh, we're going to read, read verse 2, all right, verse 2. Now, it says right here, I am Yahweh, your power, thy power, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage, all right, so we're going to read right here. Anakia, I am Yahweh, name of the Most High, Aliyaka, your power, your God, Ashar, that Hawatazah Yaka uh, brought you Ma'aratazah uh, out of the land, Matazarium of, of uh, Egypt, Ma'abayath out of the house, Abadium of slaves or of bondage. You know, which it says the same thing here. You know, you could barely read the, the first line, but that's what it says. All right, 
uh, Anakia, Yahawa, Aliyaka, Ashar, Hawadazaath Yaka, uh, Ma'aratiza, Ma'tazarium, Ma'bayath, Abadium. So that's what it says here. You know? That's what that says. Okay? That's what that says, man. You know? And I'll read line line three. You know, but that's that's the point, man. You see it says the same thing. Alright? Line three. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Alright? Right here. La'a, Yahaya, Laka, Alahayam, Akaryam, Alpunya. Alright, so right here. La'a, Yahaya, Alahayam, Akaryam, Al Punya. And they have a a extra high right there. You know, you don't see that right here. You know, you see it with the ya at the end, you don't see the ha. You know, but like we said, everything is not gonna be exact because they were here for a long time. You know, but that's the point on that, man. You can see that they are their people, all right? They are the Israelites, regardless if you niggas believe it or not. You know, and when I say niggas, I mean all the tribes that don't believe, you know? And all the tribes are not black, okay? All the tribes are not black people, man. You know, we're a family. You know what I'm saying? We're a family. The 12 tribes of Israel, as the brother Bun Yum Yum behind the camera mentioned, the 12 tribes of Israel are so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indians, man. Jeremiah 31 and 1, at the same time, said Yahweh, I will be the power of all the families of Israel, and they should be my people. Whether you niggas want to get with it or not, all right? And you guys that hate our videos, you can hate it. Hey man, because it's all about the elect. So, hey man, we, we're passionate when it comes to doing this. You know, we're not uplifting ourselves. We give all praise to you, Yahweh Shem Shah, because the brother behind the camera can tell you, as well as I, for a minute it was looking like we weren't even going to be able to do this. You know, so the Lord really made this happen, man. You know, and we have, hey, we're getting enough of what we need. They have other inscriptions of Hebrew on different rocks around here, but, you know, this seals the point, man. All right? They, they wrote the, the Ten Commandments of Paleo-Hebrew on the stone, man. And when you etch something on the stone, you etch it there so it can be forever, man. It could be a memorial. That's why they still come here. They, they come here, they pray. You know, as a matter of fact, this, this site is called Hidden Mountain. All right? And, and hey, that's, that's, that's who the Israelites are, man. That's, that's who we are as a people. We are a hidden mountain, man. You know, a mountain meaning government. Hidden meaning a secret, you know? It's a secret as to who the Israelites are, man. But guess what? It's not a secret no more. You know? Because, hey, like it tells you in the book of Job, man, hey, hey, uh, we, search, we search the ways of our fathers, man. Roughly paraphrasing. All right? And, and that's what brought us here, man. All right? But we're going to get some more precepts, and we hope you brothers are more edified. All right, we're basically just going to get a few more scriptures, you know, um, you know, further proving that the people that came here are Israelites. All right, you know, and to make the statement, the truth is only for Israel. The truth is not for you other nations. And it's obvious that the people that scratched off this first line are heathens. It's obvious that they are heathens, man, because Esau hates the truth, man. Esau and other nations hate the truth, okay? And you don't want to, you don't want us to be reestablished as a nation again, because you you know that it's inevitable that the Israelites are going to come back into power and rule over you, okay? And we're going to rule you with a rod of iron, the dust said the Lord, all right? And uh, hey, because the so-called Jews in the land of Israel, they didn't make this inscription, man. All right, this isn't broadcast as broadcasted. In your worldwide news, so to speak, the 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 the, 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 the those Israelis have, have not taken claim of this. They haven't removed it, put it in a, up in a museum. They haven't said that that their people did this. So who did this? All right. If somebody was writing in Hebrew, okay, it wasn't in Phoenicians. 
all right, right? It was no other nation. So, so, so a, a nation of people in the Americas were writing and speaking in the Hebrew tongue, man. And it didn't happen in what was that, 1948, right? Just well, well before 1948. So-called white man even found this back going go into the 1800s, man. That's right, you know? Hey, we are those people, man. All right? That's right. Can you give me uh, John 10, 16? Yeah. Yeah. All right. This is the book of John, chapter 10, verse 16. It says, and, and other sheep I have, which are not of this fold, them also I must bring, and they shall hear my voice, and there shall be one fold and one shepherd. Right, so our Lord, our big brother, Yahweh Shai, whom the world called Jesus Christ, who's a so-called black man, he laid it down, man. He, he had said other sheep he has, which are not of this fold. All right, so other tribes he has that he must gather that are not Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. Them also he must bring, and they shall hear his voice. And you and you hear his voice by way of men that teach the truth, that, that, that teach the word, that, that teach Yahweh Shai. That's how you receive Yahweh Shai. You, you shall hear his voice, and, and there shall be one fold, meaning one nation, all right? You, you see us out there on the highways with one stick, one sign, with, with the 12 tribes on it, all right? You don't just see so-called Negroes. Kind, and we prophesying with the Northern Kingdom, all right? Prime examples, you have GMS Ancient of Days. You got those brothers. You have GMS Chicago, all right? So, so those are two camps, man. GMS LA and you and uh and the brothers in Chicago, man. Brothers in the Midwest, you know? I mean the brother Yahweh um in, 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 in Mexico did a video as well, man. Con. So that northern kingdom and that southern kingdom are, are are joining together in these last days. Con. That spirit is alive, man. Con. Can't deny it. Yep, and there's nothing you can do about it. That's right. You know? So one fold and one shepherd, man. You know, so you have a shy, he's gonna be lord over all the tribes, man. And there's nothing y'all could do about it. All right, I, can you can you give me uh, uh, Second Edges 13, 39? Got the pocket phone. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, kind. Of second Edges. You said 13? 13 and 39. God, second Edges chapter 13, verse 39. It says, And whereas thou sawest that he gathered another peaceable multitude unto him. Right, th this he is Yahweh Shai. He gathered another, another piece of a multitude unto him. Go ahead. Those are the 10 tribes which were carried away prisoners out of their own land in the time of Osea the king, whom Salmanasser, the king of Assyria, led away captive. Right, so the, the, the 10 tribes, which are the northern kingdom of Israel. All right. You know, uh, Ephraim, so-called Puerto Ricans, being the head tribe, all the way uh, on down to Issachar, you so-called Mexicans, all right? You were led away captive by Shalmaneser the fifth, all right? Now, there were different deportations uh, done by the Assyrians lead, leading the northern kingdom uh, captive, but uh, the, the final or, or the main assault was done by Shalmaneser the fifth, all right? He brought you to the land of Assyria, okay? Which uh, is modern-day Iraq today. Go ahead. And he carried them over the waters, and so came they It says, and so came they into, let me jump back to it. It's all good. He, car he carried them over the waters, meaning he carried them over uh, of the Euphrates, the, the Euphrates River, all and, right? And so came they into another land. And so came they into another land, which is the land of Assyria, all right? What we call Iraq today, go ahead. But they took this counsel among themselves that they would leave the multitude of the heathen and go forth into a further country where never mankind dwelt. Which are the Americas, all right? From, from Canada all the way down to South America, man. All right, go ahead. That they might there keep their statutes, which they, which they never kept in their own land. That's the key point. That they might there keep their statutes, which they never kept in their own land. That's why you have the, the, the Ten Commandments here. Ha, ha, uh, Asherah, Matazawath, you know? The, the Ten Commandments, that's why you have that here, man. So th this is undeniable. And, and I'm going to say, man, you know, through the spirit of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, hey, man, you have to have faith, man, because the Lord gives you actual proof 
But at the same time, you still need faith on top of it because you can look at this and still turn around and uh, deny it. Like the brother said, act like some Phoenicians did it, man. With y'all the damn Canaanites. They didn't do this. Now they wrote in Hebrew too, you know, but they didn't do this because this isn't their culture. They worship idols. They worship idols. This is our culture, man. This is our heritage. An idol worshiper does not live and abide by law, statutes, and commandments. The Heavenly Father, the Creator in the earth and all things above, beneath and within, abides by these, man. No idols, no idol worship does that, man. God. He's not gonna tell you not to commit adultery when they have or orgy parties, man. He's not gonna tell you to, to worship an idol when they bow down to an idol multiple times throughout the day. All right? It specifies a particular, a peculiar people. Right, unto the Heavenly Father. That's right, so if you so-called Latinos and Native American Indians are watching this, y'all are Hebrew Israelites. Y'all are God's chosen people, all right? Along with the so-called uh, Negroes, all right? But we're focusing on the, the Northern Kingdom because, you know, it's a lot of division within our nation, man, when it comes to the topic of the Northern Kingdom. Mm -hmm. But they're Israelites as well, man. Yeah, that whole black ordeal. Hey, that's dead. That whole thing about the, the uh, all tribes being black is about as dead as that word, man. Kind. All right? The Mosai is is, 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 is a... Hey, when we was coming, when we was looking at the mountains, we was like, man, the Mosai is an artist, man. Kind. So if his terrain looks like this, his earth looks like this, Yahushua said in his father's house there are many mansions. If they look like that, how do you expect these people to look, man? Kind. I wouldn't even want to have, have a multitude of, of, of black women on my team. That's boring as hell. All of them just black, just, just yeah. brown, 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 dark brown, dark yeah. brown. Yeah, well, where's the uh, diversity? Like, where's the flavor? The scriptures say how we are the salt of the earth. That's right. If you, if you, if you have flavor, you got seasoning, man. You, you can change stuff up. You don't use the same type of seasoning on your food. And what's funny about that, there are different types of salt. Different colors and variations of salt. So you can't get around it, man. Yeah. I got pink salt crystals at the house, man. Right. Yeah. I got white salt at the house, all right? Salt comes in different forms and uh, colors, man. Kind. Kind. Is more than that? Uh, no, that was it. What do you mean? Like, yeah, you need a couple of different verses. Okay. Jump down to uh, uh, Yeah, man. And you know, hey, the so called Native American Indians, hey, man, they had a great connection with the Heavenly Father, man. You know, they would call the Most High the Great Spirit, you know, but when you read the scriptures, the scriptures tell you how he's the father of spirits, man. You know, the scriptures also call him a consuming fire, you know. It was our power that came down over Mount Sinai, man, you know, which is also called Mount Horeb. And then the, the mountain was on fire. You know, the Lord came down in a huge ship, man, a huge chariot, and he wrote the law, statutes, and commandments on tables of stone, man, or tablets of stone. You know, he shot lasers from, from uh, the chariot and they were, you know, etching the commandments, man, in the stone, you know? They showed it on that movie, right? Kind of, yeah, the Ten Commandments. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image. not take the name of the Lord thy God. You know, and hey, in that movie, the Ten Commandments with uh, with uh, Charlton Heston, they show you that this this that same Hebrew man. You know, where you think they got it from? You know, so uh, 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 Cecil B. DeMille, he he read the scriptures, man, and he knows our history. You know, and you have other archaeology out there, man, in the Americas. All right, in uh in uh in Ohio, man. You know, you have what's called the uh, the, the Newark Holy Stones, man. You got the Ohio Decalogue Stone. All right, and Lord will, if we do some post production, you'll see it, man. You got the Ohio Decalogue stone, which shows Moses holding the uh, the tablets of stone, man. The, the, the Ten Commandments. You have the Bat Creek stone in Tennessee. All right, you know which, uh, you know, the, hey, that has the Hebrew on. It has the Paleo, man. You know, and then you have the uh, the Keystone in Ohio. All right, which that has the Assyrian Hebrew on it because they went into the uh, Assyrian captivity. So there's no way around it, man. Our people held on to their language, their culture in general, uh, the, the truth, man, you know, but they lost it after a while. 
2 Ezra 13 and 41. But they took this counsel among themselves that they would leave the multitude of the heathen and go forth into a further country where never mankind dwelt, that they might there keep their statutes which they never kept in their own land. And they entered into Euphrates by the narrow places of the river. For the Most High then showed signs for them and held still the flood till they were passed over. Right, so the Lord held the waters back. All right, go ahead. For through that country there was a great way to go, namely of a year and a half, and the same region is called Arsari. Right, so through that country, meaning to get to that country, there was a great way to go, namely of a year and a half. All right. You know, but it, it tells you in uh in uh, uh First Kings concerning Solomon's navy, it took them three years, man. You know, so they would uh, come back to the land of Israel, uh, bearing all those different treasures and gifts. It took them three years because it took them a year and a half to get here and a year and a half to get back. God. But they they didn't live here. The Northern Kingdom lived here. All right. You know, but that makes the point, man. They went to Arsareth, which in the Hebrew is Arathaza Aharath, which means Arathaza land, Aharath another. So another land or another country. You know, so it's plain as day, man. That's right. And if you can't see it, you ain't meant to see it, you know. But you have any, anything else you want to add? You know? Hey, but, hey, man, this is plain as day, man. Just like when you read in uh, in the book of Joshua, the 22nd chapter. All right, you can read it on your own. You had Gad, Reuben, and the half-tribe Manasseh. They basically uh, uh, built, an, built an altar to Yahweh uh, on, the, on the east side of Jordan. You know? So, so the other tribes wouldn't think that they was they were separated from from uh, the Lord because they lived on the other side of uh, the land of uh, Israel, man. You know, they they they, they, they wouldn't uh, they didn't want the, the other tribes to think they were separated from Yahweh, man. You know, so they built that altar. So this is a similar situation here, man. You know, the Northern Kingdom came here to the Americas, and and they still kept the law, statutes, and commandments. So the other tribes wouldn't think that they separated from Yahweh, man. You know. From the heavenly father Yahweh, and you can see the name Yahweh right here, right there. Okay. So, yep. Yeah. Yahweh Wahey. That ain't the name, Nate. All right. You in trouble, man. You know what I'm saying? You, uh, Deacon Yahweh Sop, and all you other guys, man. Deacon Ethan, Ayathun, whatever you want to call yourself. All right. Because y'all basically uh, denounced the Hebrew. You denounced the name of the Lord, man. You know, but we want to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai. We hope you brothers are edified in sincerity and truth, man. You know, hey, all praise to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai for, you know, bringing us here. You know what I'm saying? So with that, we want to give double honors to the apostles and elders, great millstone, and honors and blessings to the hopeful elect. Shalom. Shalom.